But first at 5 o'clock tonight, Channel 2 investigates the rise in school threats following the Santa Fe shooting nearly one week ago. The numbers in Harris County alone are disturbing. Thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Biasa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. We showed you the spike in school threats since the shootings in Parkland. Now we're hearing from the district attorney's office that the number of threats has spiked again. Investigator Robert Arnold is live now in our newsroom to explain. Robert. The spike in threats following the Parkland shootings is what first prompted the Harris County District Attorney's Office to start tracking these cases and charging those making the threats. Those numbers were finally starting to decline in recent weeks until the shootings in Santa Fe. Threats to shoot up the school, threats to harm teachers or harm other students. Head of the DA's juvenile division, John Jordan, says the murders in Parkland and Santa Fe show why threats to schools can no longer be handled as a simple discipline problem or a stupid prank. The DA's office is criminally charging kids for making threats. They can't take their chances on someone, oh, I was just joking, oh, I didn't mean it because you never know who the next shooter is going to be. Jordan says just since the shooting in Santa Fe on Friday, the DA's office has filed charges against 24 kids for making threats. The office has filed a total of 150 of these cases since the Parkland shootings. All we can do is take people at their word. And if a youth says, I'm going to shoot up the school, how else should we interpret that? Jordan adds not charging someone threatening a school would also undermine what teachers, parents, and law enforcement have been pleading with students to do. If you see a potential problem, tell someone. If students are going to be brave enough to come forward and say, this is what I heard another student say, we need to act. Now, Jordan says the office is not being heavy handed with these cases, scrutinizing every call it gets to make sure the threat does actually cross the legal line. He also says prosecutors will take into account whether a student has a history of trouble or is basically a good kid who made a stupid mistake. Live in the newsroom, Robert Arnold, KPRC, Channel 2 News.